Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Yansa's Universe. It is me, Yansa. Welcome back existing viewers and subscribers and welcome new viewers and subscribers. This is going to be your May reading. This is going to be for all signs. I'm going to include a little pick me up from my Central Universe deck. This will be 18 plus. So this is whatever comes out for you guys in May and we'll jump into it you guys don't forget to give me a big fat thumbs up that really helps my video get out there helps the youtube algorithm helps more people see this video and helps our channel grow so don't forget to like share subscribe hit that notification bell comment let me know how it resonates if it doesn't resonate this time then i'll get you next time my loves okay so we'll jump into it Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, protect me as I go within the tarot. Keep me safe. Return to sender in and all negativity. Protect me. Protect my viewers. Give me clear, honest messages. I shave. What do you have for all signs? This is for May 2022. Okay. What we're going to do is we will start with Leo. Spirit, this is for Leo. What can you tell me? about Leo, May 2022. All right, Leo. The High Priestess, you could be dealing with the Pisces or have Pisces in your chart. You're not talking right now, you're quiet. You're using your intuition, okay? You're getting messages, downloads. Oh, and you're getting money. You're getting stable. Your, your, your gifts are growing. And I feel the more your gifts grow, the more stabilized you become. The more grounded and rooted you become. The more money as well. Okay. I hear confirmation, confirmation. Okay, we have the five of pentacles. Right. Okay, so we have the king of pentacles and the five of pentacles. This may have something to do with your money. All right, clarify the five of pentacles for Leo. Five of Swords. Big changes, Leo. Big changes in regard to your stability. Clarify the High Priestess for Leo. Nine of Cups. This is your wish fulfillment. Self-satisfaction. Um, wish fulfillment. So a secret. Some type of secret gives you some wish fulfillment. Look, we have the Five of Wands as well. A lot of changes. Clarify the High Priestess and the Nine of Cups for Leo. The Empress. I saw the Emperor as well. Okay. So, there's some type of blessing that is coming to you or has already came, Leo. And it makes you very happy. You know it intuitively that it's coming. Nine of Cups, whatever it is, it's going to make you very happy. Others may not be so happy for you, Leo. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Leo. I saw the Emperor. I should have pulled the Emperor out. Temperance. Yeah, it's coming with time. Time and patience. Then we have the Four of Wands right here at the bottom of the deck. So I'm feeling you're growing. You're expanding. You're getting everything that you want in due time. You're working hard for it with the King of Pentacles and being patient and dedicated as well. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius, Libra. Pisces, Taurus, or Capricorn. Clarify the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Swords. The Page of Cups. A child, messages, a gift, some type of... Because um, the Page of Cups could be like showing your appreciation or showing gratitude to someone. Clarify the Page of Cups for Leo. Leo, this isn't making sense. Two of Swords. So something isn't going to make sense. Clarify the Two of Swords. The Star. Somebody's going to want to heal. It's not going to make sense to you. You're not going to know what's going on. Seven of Swords. You're going to have to use your intuition. The Hermit. It could be a Virgo. Wheel of Fortune. With the Magician. So I feel like something is going to be resurfacing, Leo. Right at the peak of all of your happiness, manifestations, wish fulfillment, something is going to resurface. It's not going to make sense. But Spirit is telling you there's a reason for this. I'm not sure why, but Spirit has a reason for doing it. Okay. 
What can you tell me about Leo? What can you tell me about Leo? May. How would you feel if I told you I think I'm in love? So this may be what's throwing you off. Somebody is telling you that they love you. Or Leo, somebody is coming in your life and they're falling in love with you. And maybe it's strange to you, Leo, that someone actually likes you for once. Someone is actually in love with you for once. Okay, that's all I have for you, Leo. Moving on. Virgo. All right. This is for Virgo. Virgo, what can you tell me about Virgo in May 2022? The Wheel of Fortune could be dealing with any fixed sign. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. I'm getting um, Scorpio and Sagittarius, kind of like a Scorpio Sag cusp. Maybe you could be dealing with one of those or you, you could have either of them in your chart. Okay, Virgo, please. The King of Cups, your love life is changing for the better. Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Okay, your love life is improving. You're doing things that you love for once. And this is stabilizing you. Maybe you've been running away from things that make you happy, people that make you happy, because there's no pinnacles here. Maybe this there's that's where you've been focused on, your money. Clarify the will of fortune for Virgo. It's a new season of your life. Yeah, Ace of Wands, your passions. Okay, maybe you want to have more passionate communication. Maybe you want to have more passionate fun, more passionate connections that spark your interest, that make you feel alive. Clarify the King of Cups. Clarify the King of Cups for Virgo. The Knight of Cups. Okay, so this is dating, love offers. You're in love and you're expressing it. Or you want someone to be in love and express that to you. Clarify the four of wands for Virgo. The queen of pentacles, okay. So you could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn. Any fire sign, especially water, heavy water. So could be dealing with the Scorpio. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Wands. So you could be traveling. I hear you could be getting pregnant or getting someone pregnant. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, here's the child right here. The new beginning, the message. Okay. So in this new season, yeah, the Ace of Wands and Page of Pentacles is a child. I split the deck and there's the sun. Children, so congratulations. Especially if you do want kids. Clarify the King of Cups and the Knight of Cups for Virgo. Two of Swords, you don't see something coming. You're indecisive about something. Clarify the Four of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. The Eight of Cups. You're wondering why this is not what you want the ten of swords it's not what you want because you're still hurt we have the ten of swords ten of pentacles two tens endings beginnings completion starting over again so i'm wondering why you're emotionally distant from this stability and this happiness the four of wands is happiness a union a relationship a reason to celebrate stability a connection with this queen of pentacles but maybe you're not happy here yeah you're so you're not satisfied with this money or this stability. You want passion. You want communication. You want to have fun. For some reason, you're indifferent when it comes to love. All right. Six of Swords. You're a traveler. You're a wanderer. You're a nomad. You feel like something is calling your spirit to always be wandering. You're a wanderer. It just seems like you're still on this path of your spirit calling you towards something greater. 
Clarify the Wheel of Fortune again for Virgo. Two came out. Five of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> it's like the Five of Swords. It's like I feel like you think you can't win. I just, I can't win. That's what I get the feeling from this. I just can't win. So I see you taking a break. You're searching for that fulfillment. You're doing everything that other others want you to do. And I'm wondering, the reason why you don't feel fulfilled is because you're not doing the things you want to do. You're not doing the things that make you happy. You're always doing things that make others happy. Seven of Swords, and you're deceiving yourself. Okay? Okay. What can you tell me about Virgo, May 2022? Okay. Phone sex, FaceTime. Be expecting to have some phone sex. Or some FaceTime phone sex. Maybe this is something you want. Maybe this is something somebody wants with you. But this is what you can expect in May. Okay. Moving on to Libra. I probably can't barely see that. All right, Libra. Spirit, what can you tell me about Libra? You guys could be Libra Scorpio Cuspers. Libra in May 2022. Sorry, you guys. I know that's probably loud. Libra. Queen of Swords, your energy. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, good. Libra. I'll take from the top. Okay. The universe, which is the world card. So you have the Queen of Swords. This is your energy. You're feeling more empowered. I have a proposal. Look at this, y'all. I just now noticed this, so I don't know if this is or isn't, but look, you see these eyes right here above the Queen of Swords? She knows. She sees all. She knows all. She will cut you with that sword, and it looked like the sword got blood on it, so this ain't nobody to play with, so Libra. Libra, I'm wondering. I'm wondering, Libra, if you finally got vengeance on that person because this is what i'm getting you got your vengeance you got it you got your uh revenge you got it whatever it is i'm getting it you got it libra no you got it libra you got it whatever you said whatever you did you got it libra that's what i'm getting okay clarify the queen of swords for libra Queen of Cups. Could have been two queens. You hurt somebody's feelings. Okay? Clarify the Eight of uh, Pentacles. Or somebody hurt your feelings. Page of Swords. Alright. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. Six of Swords. So I'm wondering if you hurt somebody's feelings or somebody hurt your feelings and they're just like, you know what, you got it, Libra. And so I feel like Libra, once you did this, it made you feel bad. You wanted a fight from this person and they're not going to fight with you. They're going to tell you, no, you got it, Libra, you got it. And in turn, I feel like this is going to make you work on yourself. This is going to show you things you don't like about yourself. But ultimately, I feel like it's going to help you become a better person with the universe right here. I'm feeling like maybe you are going through some things, Libra. And maybe you were mad at the time. Maybe this person caught you while you were mad. 
or this person caught you while you were going through other things and somehow whatever they did or said just mixed in into everything that already had you upset. Clarify the universe for Libra. Five of Cups, yeah. You hurt someone's feelings or someone hurt their feelings. But I'm feeling like somebody's going to be working on themselves in May. Somebody's going to be working on themselves in May to become a better person. To not get so angry. To not hurt people's feelings. To not step all over people. Clarify the universe in the Five of Cups. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. You're going to be working on it. And I feel like also Libra, maybe you're going to be going through a period of time, the Death card, you're going to be going through a period of time where you feel like you're a bad person, where you feel like you, because of all the bad things you've done or bad things you've said, maybe you don't deserve goodness in your life. Maybe you don't deserve to be happy. Maybe you don't deserve love. And that's not true. You're going through, I know you're going through a tough time right now. And I know you may be feeling like whatever it is you're giving isn't good enough or whatever it is that other person is giving isn't good enough. And whenever the devil comes in to sneak those lies in or try to put fear in your mind or doubts, remember, it's not true. You have people on your side. You have people who love you with the lovers. You have people on your side, three of pentacles. You have people who love you, the lovers. This connection or this person, this job, four of wands, it's something to celebrate. You're becoming a better person. Or this is whoever this person is. It could be a friend, family member, lover, coworker, whoever it is, okay? You'll be able to work this out, Libra. You will be able to work this out. I feel like you could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Scorpio, a Cancer, another Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or a an Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, like I said. Okay. All right. What messages do you have for Libra in May? Libra. What messages do you have for Libra in May? Okay, sex makes me crazy. All right, that's a message for somebody. Okay, moving on. Scorpio. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio for May 2022? This is for Scorpio. The morning, okay. Good. So this is a new day, a brighter day. Maybe in the past. You are sad going through the night, the dark night of the soul. There's a reason to celebrate. So when the morning comes, I feel like if the night card doesn't come out, it just symbolizes that maybe this is something you were going through. The night may be something that you um, had already went through or may go through in the near future. But there's a reason to celebrate. If you're feeling sad, upset, defeated, crushed, pushed on both sides, you, you have not crumbled. You are still here. Joy comes in the morning. Okay, Scorpio. Let's see. Two of swords. There's something you don't see. Something you don't want to see. This is for Scorpio. Five of pentacles. I feel like, Scorpio, you're on this really high, high. And I feel like you have to take this blindfold off and face reality. Five of Pentacles. Okay, clarify the morning for Scorpio. Page of Cups. What is this? Three of Wands. You've been waiting patiently, trying not to get weary. 
you're waiting on this breakthrough you know it's coming something good okay clarify the two of swords nine of pentacles beautiful yeah nine of pentacles you look good you smell good you're eating good everything is good money is great very independent stable anybody would be lucky to have you especially in this energy nine of pentacles clarify the two of swords and the nine of pentacles for scorpio The six of swords. I feel like your spirit is uneasy for some reason. Clarify the five of pentacles. Okay. Seven of wands. Arguing, fighting. Knight of wands with this Sagittarius. Four of pentacles. So I'm feeling like you're finally over something. Finally loving yourself again, Page of Cups. Loving yourself again. I hear you're finally doing your hair again or something. You're finally doing something again that you love doing. I don't know if it was doing hair or doing makeup. It's something you're finally doing again. I'm getting some people didn't accept you for this. But... Oh, maybe it was something with your hands. Do you have arthritis? So I'm feeling like you're doing something again, Scorpio. It's a new day, a new morning. Everything is good. The morning. No more crying. No more sadness. This is joy. And ships are coming in for you. You can see them on the horizon. And you finally decided to leave things behind. I'm feeling like your soul is just a little uneasy, but you're you're steady. You're steady. You're a little un uneasy on the course that you're going, but it's a steady course. You're good. Nine of Pentacles. You have everything you need. The money, stability. You're good by yourself. You're not lonely. You're enjoying your own company alone. Six of Swords. Your mind is clear. Moving the calmer waters. But this Five of Pentacles, I feel like you feel, you feel left out in the cold, but it's not true. You may feel like you're alone, but you're not alone. You're good here. It's good to be in this energy. The Seven of Wands is, could be fighting. You got your guards up. Knight of Wands against this, whoever this is, or against this energy. You got your guards up against anybody who tries to come in and out of your life. No, you're not going to be able to do that to me anymore. Why do you feel uneasy? The Ace of Swords. I'm busy. Hello? I'm busy. Oh. I'm in the okay. Can I text you the things I want? Huh? Can I text you the things I want? Can I text you the things I want? Yeah, are you going to sit here? I'm in the middle of a video. right so sorry scorpio so you have the ace of swords the truth clarity i feel like this is why you're feeling a little uneasy remember i told you i feel like the night might come out here's the night right here so i'm wondering if you may be feeling uneasy because you know that or at least you feel that this night is going to come again i feel like you know that you're going to have to have this talk or you know that you're going to have to finally say something about this or you know that you're going to finally have to do something about this. I feel like you're uneasy because you know that ultimately you're going to have to finally make that change and face this, this fear or the night. You're going to have to face it. Whether it's something that you keep um, manifesting in your life, whether it be a person, place, thing, situation or energy, you're going to have to face it. The night is sadness, crying, depression, anxiety, feeling alone, feeling stuck. I'm wondering if you feel uneasy because you're asking yourself, 
it's just a matter of time before I go through this again. Why do you why do you think that you have to go through it again, Scorpio? Do you really have to? Or is there things that you can cut out, things you can change? Ways you can protect yourself, okay? What can you tell me for Scorpio in May 2022? Scorpio, May 2022. I hate when you leave. I hate when you leave. That's a message for someone. <sighs> Maybe you hate when they leave. They hate when you leave something. Okay. Moving on to Sagittarius. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius for May 2022? The Empress and the Seven of Wands. She could be dealing with the Libra. Knight of Wands. It's crazy. Sagittarius, check out the Scorpio reading. So you could be dealing with a Libra or another Sagittarius. Clarify the Empress, growth and expansion, a wife, a mother, the morning. Check out the Sagittarius. I mean, check out the Scorpio reading. Scorpio got almost all of these same cards, okay? They got three out of the four cards. So I'm feeling like, yeah, you're going, you, you found the love of your life, I feel. Oh, this is what you think. The Empress in the morning. Morning is happiness. No more crying. It's, it's like joy coming in the morning. It's just knowing that the pain is over. You're not going through the pain anymore. So maybe you could literally be giving birth in labor. Okay? Mm. Giving birth to an idea. Going through the tumultuous journey of giving birth to a baby, an idea, a relationship, something that makes you happy. So clarify the seven of wands. You're protecting yourself. Blocking something. Four of Pentacles, definitely blocking out something or someone. Clarify the Knight of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Clarify the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. The King of Swords, okay. So what I'm getting is there's a reason to celebrate. I'm feeling like you're becoming a mother or you're becoming that business owner, entrepreneur, whatever it may be. There's victory. There's reason to celebrate. But you're blocking someone or something out. And I feel like it's because whoever this person is, is very reckless. And I feel like this person is almost like dangerous. That's the energy I'm getting. So I'm wondering if this is one of those stories to where... Sagittarius, unfortunately, if this is your baby mom or baby dad, you might have got a restraining order against them. I see someone hitting someone. I see someone hitting another person violently. I'm getting a storyline, and if this isn't your baby mom or baby dad, I feel like some of you may have suffered from abusive parents. The Ten of Pentacles represents family for me. But with this Knight of Wands, I'm seeing somebody have something in their hand. Almost like, like trying to strike somebody.
getting a controlling energy. So I'm wondering if some of you are pregnant and you're worried about telling someone that you're pregnant. I don't know if you're worried about telling your mom or dad you're pregnant. You're worried about telling your baby mom or baby dad that you're pregnant. Because I feel like it might lead into an altercation. That's not for all of you. I'll do a second message for you all. Okay. What messages do you have for Sagittarius in May? Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius in May? Six of Cups, okay. Beautiful energy, a soulmate. A relationship, a gift, memories as well. Three of Swords came out reverse. I don't read reversals, but I will read it that way. So this could be healing. Whatever hurt you, made you sad, that's going to be healing. Five of Cups. Six of Swords. I'm getting that same energy. I'm getting that someone in your family. I don't know if it's another relative, brother, sister, someone in the family was going around abusing people. Okay. So I'm feeling like maybe May is going to really signify a time for healing from, you know, the family abuse, healing from any type of abuse, mental, physical, emotional, financial, spiritual. Okay. Clarify the Six of Cups. For Sagittarius. The Four of Swords, rest. Yeah. I'm feeling like, I feel like the reason why all of this stuff is being triggered, Sagittarius, is because you're moving to a new level in your life. I'm feeling like maybe, Sagittarius, you're about to get into a new relationship because we have the Six of Cups. So I'm feeling like, I feel like the only reason why these um, things get triggered or you get triggered uh, and you start remembering the abuse and you start remembering the trauma, it could be PTSD, but I'm feeling like there are people that spirit is going to try to bring in your life who do love you, who are healing, who are good for you, who are fair, you know, to cover up these wounds. You know, the, the justice card is covering up the three of swords, making things right, putting a bandaid on these things so you can heal it. The six of swords is covering up this five of cups, you know, moving the calmer waters and not feeling sad and depressed and not feeling like there's things missing. You know, the six of cup, the six of swords is covering um, the pain and the trauma, covering up the heartache. So I'm wondering if the things that I'm saying, maybe you've tried covering it up, maybe you have tried covering it up and it has not been working and that it keeps coming to the surface. Nothing is working. It keeps coming out. Your trauma keeps coming out. Your PTSD keeps coming out. So maybe there's going to be um, someone or something that helps you ultimately heal for real this time. Okay, for real this time, Sagittarius. It helps you heal for real. That helps you um, not forget about it, but heal from it. Be able to cope. You need coping mechanisms, Sagittarius, because spirit wants you to have love. Spirit wants you to get rest. Spirit wants you to get peace. Spirit wants you in that loving soulmate relationship and connection with the Six of Cups. Spirit wants you to heal and rest with the Four of Swords. So for real this time, Sagittarius, time for healing, time for real life coping mechanisms and strategies to be able to live life in loving relationships with people. Okay? Anything else for Sagittarius? The Knight of Cups. Self-love. Loving yourself. Also others loving you. You being able to give love as well. You could be dealing with any sign. I see a lot of water and a lot of air. Okay? Alright. Spirit, what can you tell me? about Sagittarius in May 2022. Sagittarius. Oh, 
okay starburst pussy so some of you may have some good pussy some of you may be getting some good pussy in may starburst pussy all right <laughs> moving on to capricorn i feel like i'm gonna just keep these pictures right here i don't feel like doing all that extra stuff okay moving on to capricorn Spirit, what messages can you give me for Capricorn? What can you tell me about Capricorn for May 2022? I saw the King and Queen of Pentacles, and I also saw the Ace of Cups. I feel like a lot of you could be getting in connections, those long-term relationships, okay? Page of Wands could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This is communication, could represent travel as well. Two of Wands. So you're running right into a new door. Okay, a new phase. Four of Pentacles. Mm, maybe you feel like this door is shut. Maybe you feel like... Maybe you feel like you need to hurry up and choose a door before it does close. Do you see how the Page of Wands is running right into the Two of Wands, these doors? Ooh, my bad. Running right into these doors, needing to make a decision. With the Four of Pentacles, I'm feeling like you might feel like you're running out of time. The door is going to close. Okay. Your daughter loves. So I'm wondering if you feel like your internal time clock is ticking. Maybe you feel like you're getting older. You're wondering about love, about relationships, connections. Maybe you feel like you need to hurry up before you lose time. That's what I feel. Yeah, we got the Two of Cups, Four of Wands, Three of Cups. Okay. Okay. Clarify, I'm getting that Omarion song, Speeding. <laughs> Have y'all heard that song by Omarion? I'm speeding. I'm speeding. He said, if my time is up, let me know right now. And I will find a way to your heart again. So I'm speeding. Okay, clarify the page of wands. Ten of Pentacles. You want it all with this person. Mm. A page of wands does not have the Ten of Pentacles. So there's going to have to be some growth and a lot of change. There's going to be a lot of effort that needs to be put into this. I feel like some of you could already have children with this person. Maybe you feel like you're a child and you have to grow up fast. Okay. Or maybe you're looking back on your life and realizing that you've always been moving through life too fast. And you, things have just happened and you never really got to enjoy them. Ace of Wands, you never really got to enjoy life. And you're wanting to enjoy life now. Clarify the Two of Wands. Eight of Swords, yeah. You don't know what to choose. You don't know which door. I feel like a lot of you don't even know that there are doors right in front of you. Okay? Because your eyes are closed. Clarify the Four of Pentacles for Capricorn. Seven of Wands, yeah. It's going to be a fight to get this door open. I feel like you've tried opening this door before. You tried breaking it down, kicking it down, screaming it down, crying this door down. Hmm. But I'm wondering why it's not opening or why you feel like it's not opening. Maybe the door that you've been trying to go through is the wrong door and your eyes have been closed. Maybe if you open your eyes, you'll see the right door, the right uh, option, the right thing to choose, the right person to choose, the right job to choose, the right decision. I want you to know there is no wrong or right, so don't... Okay, let me stop. I want you to know that... 
when it comes to those type of certain things. The universe, God, whoever you believe in, always works with you, works for you. So in regard to the wrong or right decision, this if it's for you, it's always going to come back. It's always going to be another opportunity, another time. So that's what I mean with there's no wrong or right. It just happens in a matter of time, either sooner or later. Okay. <sighs> Clarify the Page of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Yeah. I feel like, Capricorn, maybe you feel like you, you had kids too soon. You were, you were still a, a kid when you had kids. You, I just feel like you feel like you had to grow up too fast. It's always been a fight. It's always been a struggle. But for others of you, on the flip side, I'm getting another message. Maybe I'm feeling like you always, um, you always got what you wanted. You fought hard for what you wanted. You fought hard for this money. She worked hard for the money. So hard. Why did I just get that song? She be dancing for them dollars. Okay. <laughs> Clarify the two of wands and the eight of swords. Six of swords. Okay, so maybe you are going to choose a different route this time. So you've been going the same route every single time. I feel like you're going to go a different route. I see a divine detour coming your way. Clarify the Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Who came out? Eight of Cups, Seven of Cups, Two Sevens, Two Eights. Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups. Eight of Swords, Eight of Cups. Oh, this, this divine detour may not um, bring you what you're wanting as soon as you want it. Because with the Eight of Cups and Seven of Cups, is this is more options to choose from, more doors to choose from. And the Eight of Cups is looking for that Ninth Cup. But I do see progress here. Seven of Cups is confused, not knowing which cup to choose. Eighth cup is, okay, I know what I'm looking for. I'm going to go find it to that ninth cup. So I feel like this divine detour is going to lead you to that ninth cup, Capricorn. Okay, can you give me one last message? The tower, there it is right there. In due time, the change is coming in due time. Could be dealing with the Scorpio, um, a Sagittarius. Here's the death card right here. Here's the change. Give it time. It is coming. This divine detour is going to lead you to your wish fulfillment. Choose a different option this time. Here's your sun right here as soon as I split the deck. Okay, Capricorn. I sure hope that made sense to you. Okay. messages can you give me for Capricorn? What can you tell me about Capricorn in May 2022? I'm not letting you leave me again. I am not letting you leave me again. Either you're not letting them leave or they're not letting you leave Capricorn. That's a message for somebody. Moving on to shit. Aquarius. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius, May 2022? 
Three of Pentacles. Okay, hard work. People are collaborating with you, working with you. I see growth. All right, Nine of Wands. The Wounded Warrior. What have you been? What battle have you been fighting, Aquarius? And this wants to come out. Ten of Swords. And the the world. Okay, okay, I see why. So you've been fighting the battle of closing this cycle. You want a big change in your life, a really big change. I feel like <laughs> Aquarius, this is what I'm getting. Aquarius, you're not ending anything until everything ends. You want everything, like everything in one big, one big lump sum to end. So I feel like Aquarius, if you have five things to end, you're not gonna quit them one at a time. You're not. If you have five things to end, you want them all to end at once. <laughs> I don't know if this is making sense to you, Aquarius, but this is the energy I'm getting. So, you've been hurt. You've been hurting for a long time. You've been hurt so bad. There have been times you can't even get out of bed. But, I do want you to know, a change is coming. The universe a change is coming. The universe represents the world card, a new world, a new cycle, new beginnings. But that means endings, needing to end. Whether whether it be ending one thing at a time, in those one th in that one thing at a time. How do you eat an elephant? You can't swallow the whole elephant. You got to chew it bit by bit. I know it's a crazy saying, but y'all know what I'm talking about. And you are right here at the bottom of the deck. You want this healing? It's yours. You are the star, Aquarius. You are a star, three of wands. You're waiting for those ships to come in, but I feel like you haven't turned your back to the things that you need to end. So I'm seeing for any of those Aquariuses who want everything to end all at once instead of ending it one at a time, I'm feeling like you waiting for things to end all at once has added more things to your list. It's added more things to your list. Sorry, my accent came out. So, <laughs> Aquarius. So, this is the analogy I'm getting. So, you have these things that you want to end. Say, like I said, you have five things you want to end. Instead of you ending them one by one, you want them all to end all at once. So, you're waiting on these things to end all at once. But while you're waiting, another thing comes. And another thing comes. And another thing comes. And you're like, okay, I'll just end all of them at once. But they're not ending all at once, Aquarius. And another thing comes and another thing comes. And now we're here at this Ten of Swords. We're here. So how do we get those swords out of, out of our back? One by one, Aquarius. One by one. One by one. Okay, and it's done. <sighs> I bet y'all like, what the hell is she doing? Okay. Okay. Clarify the three of pentacles for Aquarius. Five of cups. Why are you sad? You're confused. You've been crying. These are tears. You shed tears. Why? Clarify the three of pentacles. strength you're strong in front of these people but you're crying behind closed doors i see you crying i see tears streaming down your face they're hot tears salty tears have these people disappointed you have they let you down clarify the three of pentacles of cups these this is your family these this is people who's been on your side i'm wondering if you're feeling like these people have not been enough but i don't feel like that's fair for you to do that to them aquarius how are they supposed to know you've been crying if you've been holding up a brave face these people are trying to get close to you three of pentacles 
Will you let them? Will you let them help you? I feel like Aquarius, sometimes you tend to judge yourself based off of other people's and what other people have. But what other people have don't define who you are, Aquarius. There's so much energy all in this one right here. It doesn't make sense. How can the Three of Pentacles be with Five of Cups, Seven of Cups, sad, crying, and confused? Then again, this Three of Pentacles be complete happiness. So I'm wondering if this Three of Pentacles is your foundation. The two different sides of you, Aquarius. You could be dealing with the Leo. Clarify the Nine of Wands. Page of Wands. Clarify the Nine of Wands, the Page of Wands. You're blocking someone's message. Knight of Cups. You're too afraid to love. The Nine of Wands is blocking, but also still fighting. You haven't given up. So I'm wondering if, are you fighting against this love or you haven't given up on love? Because we have a love message coming right here, fast. Page of Wands, Knight of Cups, a love offer. I'm wondering if you'll see it coming, but you, with your guards up so completely high. <laughs> Clarify this Ten of Swords for Aquarius. Page of Pentacles. You have two options to choose from. Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Two pages. Good news. Nine of Cups, happiness. Okay. And then we have the Page of Cups right here. Princess of Cups. I'm sorry. This is not the Page of Pentacles. This is the Knights of Pentacles. Page of Wands, Knight of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. You still have two options right here. But I'm wondering if this Knight of Pentacles is delaying your progress. Ten of Swords. Clarify the Ten of Swords again. Three of Swords, yeah. You're not going anywhere. False promises that you made to yourself, okay? I will do it in time. I'll just give myself some time. But you've been adding on, tacking on. It's like you've been paying your own, you've been paying yourself in um, tax, taxes. You've been taxing yourself. I'm going to swear you're like, you're in your own deficit. I don't know if you guys know money talk, but um, it's like you've been, you have overdraft fees with yourself. You haven't paid yourself back. You've been cashing hot checks in your own personal bank, your own personal bank of your soul, your own personal bank of your heart, your own personal bank of your spirit. And you're in the negatives. So how do you get out of this? Um, how do you get out of the red when it when it's in within yourself? And you've been doing it within yourself. Okay, time to go ahead and. Um, I'm wondering if <laughs> this, if Spirit wants you to go ahead and close that bank account and stop doing that, Aquarius. Time to figure out good. Um, self-love good money management so when i say money management i'm not just talking about real money green money physical earth money i'm talking about money from self-love currency money from listening to your intuition currency money from um having good boundaries currency not letting people use you manipulate you currency your no is no currency and not um wavering and yes is yes and things that you deserve. So when you start building up that good currency and putting in those checks that you know will clear within yourself, I'm feeling like this is when this cycle will end and when this cycle will finally close, Aquarius. Okay. You can be done with the Leo. Virgo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces.
Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. I have two tens right here. So I know you have what it takes, Aquarius, to be happy, get these swords out your bag, no longer being in this energy, and just start doing it one by one, little by little. You will see this door open and that cycle close and they knew a whole brand new world, a whole brand new way of living. Opening up to you, Aquarius. Okay. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius for May 2022? This came out. Tell me it's mine, Aquarius. Okay. Tell me it's mine. Okay, put some possession on it. All right. Moving on to Pisces. What messages do you have for Pisces, Holy Spirit? Two of Wands, you have an option to choose, a doorway to choose, possibly two options, but I see you moving forward, Pisces. This is all according to God's plan. The moon, okay? You're wondering what the hell is going on? How is this going to according to God's plan? And I'm confused as ever, okay? <laughs> Oh, but you are going in the right direction, the chariot. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're going to bump right into your healing. You're going to bump right into your happiness. You're going to bump right into whatever it is that you've been praying for, Pisces. I hear, oh, ye of little faith. Oh, ye of little faith, Pisces. Clarify the two of wands. So you could be dealing with a cancer, double cancer with the moon and the chariot. The moon could represent Pisces as well. I'm going to read it as cancer. Y'all got enough cards in this deck, Pisces. <laughs> Y'all got the hangman. Y'all got the high priestess. Y'all even represent the full card. Y'all got enough cards up in here, Pisces. We know, we know you important. It's going to be cancer today, okay? <laughs> Clarify the two of wands for Pisces. Oh, yes. The wheel of fortune. With the moon, you are being divinely guided. Yes, you are on the right path. Look at all these majors coming out. The tower and the hermit. You can be dealing with the Virgo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo. Yes, okay. Clarify the two of wands. I'm, I'm excited. Clarify the two of wands. Five of Cups. So I'm feeling like this wheel is going to get you out of feeling stuck. But I'm feeling like you're second guessing this option. Why? You're wondering. I feel like you're banking on choosing the right door. I literally feel like I'm in a game show where it's like Wheel of Fortune and you have to choose the right one. It's do or die. Okay. I feel like the stakes are really, really high, Pisces. What is going on in your life? You could be dealing with a Gemini with a magician. Clarify the two of wands again, please. The Pisces, please. The Hermit. Oh, shit. I feel like... <laughs> I just heard the blind leading the blind. So I'm feeling like you are blaming someone for getting you here. But the blind leading the blind, I feel like you've realized this. You've been being led astray. So now it's time for you to lead yourself. It's time for you to trust and spirit yourself. So maybe you have been going to a financial 
financial okay maybe you have been going to a financial advisor what i meant to say was spiritual advisor or spiritual counselor and maybe you've been feeling like this person has been leading you astray and pisces you have to know you are in charge of your own life it don't matter how many times you go to someone for advice ultimately it is your decision and ultimately pisces god wants you to build a relationship with you and god not your advisor have the relationship for, with God for you. That goes with anything, anything in life. You want a relationship with spirit. That means you got to talk to spirit, not your advisor talk to spirit for you. You want to learn about money. You research the money. You research the terminology. You research what it means. You got to. Pisces, it looks like you have woken up and have started your journey and you started being the leader for yourself in your life instead of letting someone else lead you. Now, I'm not saying you're not letting God lead you, but you're conscious in leading your life through God, with God or spirit, whoever it is that you talk to, okay? Clarify the moon. The morning. So this confusion will not last too long. It won't. I'm also feeling like I feel like somebody is trying to confuse you on purpose. These are doubts, fears. So somebody could be planting lies in your brain. Because we have the king of swords right here. So this is going to be you needing to cut through the bullshit, Pisces. Cut the bullshit, Pisces. You need to see it for what it is. See this person for what it is. See the situation for what it is, Pisces. If the blind has been leading the blind, well, damn it, who going to wake up? Who going to take the blindfold off? Okay. The morning. So do you see how the moon is crying? There are tears, sadness. The morning comes. So it's going to shed light on things. No more sadness. No more crying. This is happiness, joy, peace, tranquility. All right. Clarify the chariot for Pisces. You are headed in the right direction. Yes, you are. Clarify the chariot. Six of swords. More movement. Yes, you are moving in the right direction, Pisces. Yes. The will of fortune movement. The morning. You're going to see clearly the chariot. Moving forward, the Six of Swords, more movement. Yes, you are moving in the right direction, okay? Not really sure what this sadness was. Maybe you do feel like you've been led astray, or maybe you do feel like you've just been sleepwalking through life. The blindfold is off. Clarify the Six of Cups. This is going to make you very happy. Clarify the Six of Cups. Yep, King of Swords. Still came out. Cut through the bullshit, Pisces. Your whole reading is you need to cut through the bullshit. That's it. I don't know why all these cards came out just to tell you. Cut through the bullshit, Pisces. All right? Cut the bullshit. You could be dealing with the Cancer, Virgo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Any air sign, any fire sign. No pinnacles came out whatsoever. None. So I'm wondering where your money is. If there has been any instability or if you were worried about a money decision. But we done with that. Can you tell me about Pisces, please? For May 2022, tell me about Pisces. Playboy, playgirl, okay? Either you was doing this, they was doing this. Cuddle buddy. Cuddle buddy, okay? All right, Pisces. My love, do you ever dream of candy corn?
Aries. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for Aries for May 2022? Four of Swords, you're resting, you're thinking, you're meditating, you're analyzing, you're wanting peace, strength. Because of a Leo, with the Leo, you got Leo in your chart. You're just trying to be strong. Or you're holding back for some reason justice so you're wanting things to be fair maybe you're holding back and you're just letting spirit um take care of this yeah spirit is going to take care of this you don't have to do anything you can rest spirit is going to take care of this all right clarify the four of swords for aries yeah the universe which is the world card this is gonna there's gonna be closure it's gonna be rectified this is gonna be fixed this is gonna be made right you can rest okay maybe this is a new season of you can rest now clarify strength because all your life you had to fight well this time you're not gonna have to but it's hard because you're used to fighting don't fight Clarify justice for, I just want to say Virgo. You could be dealing with the Virgo. Clarify justice for Aries. Six of Wands, victory. Yeah, you're going to have victory. Six of Cups. Yes, rest. Don't do nothing. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. Look at all these majors. Spirit is going to take care of this. The universe, which is the world card. The fool, the will of fortune, strength, justice. Spirit is going to take care of this, Aries. You don't have to fight. Now, there may be little things that you might have to take care of and make sure that spirit is, you know, fighting along with you. So listen to your intuition. If spirit gives you a nudge to do this or spirit gives you a nudge to say this, do it or say it, okay? But other than that, you can rest in this season. Spirit is going to take care of everything. Where's your money? No pinnacles came out. Ace of Wands. Well, we're not worried about money, Spirit said. We're worried about you being happy, you being taken care of. Ace of Wands. This could represent pregnancy. Okay. I heard abortion. The Ace of Wands represents communication, travel, passion, creativity. It represents fulfillment, you know, um, fulfillment in life, passion and drive in life. Okay. I feel like you are on the right path. You are doing the right thing. You're wondering if you're doing the right thing. Any other messages for Aries? The moon. You don't know if you're doing the right thing. Seven of Pentacles. There's your money right there. Okay. You're going to be fine. I hear you're going to be fine. You're sad about this decision. What's the moon? I need to know. The magician. A Gemini. Two of Cups right here. The Nine of Swords. You did. Oh, okay. You did something. You did. I hear... I finally, I finally did one thing that I wanted to do, or I finally did one thing that I've, um, I finally let my guard down, or I finally just had had fun. Maybe you had one a one night stand, or maybe you finally. I hear one instant changed my whole life. In that one moment, my whole life was changed. We got the two of cups in the night. So I don't know if you did lose someone or something. I don't, it's not telling me because we have, we have the nine of cups in one instant, you were so happy. And then the next instant, it made you so sad. Nine of cups, nine of swords. Okay. So I'm wondering if you think that 
I hear all that glitters isn't gold. So whatever it is that somebody tried to sell you or deceive you with, because we have two nines right here. We got the nine of cups, nine of swords, and we have the six of wands, six of cups. We have nine, nine, six, six. I hear everything was taken away in that one instant, in that one moment. I don't know what, what are you trying to tell me? Queen of Swords. In that one moment, that one decision, that one night, that one, that one thing. So maybe it's this one thing that you wish you could change or this one thing that you wish didn't happen. Or it's that one person, that one job, that one decision. I don't know what it is, Aries. But I, I know that spirit is going to take care of it. That one thing I know for sure. For sure. Spirit is going to take care of this. So maybe I'm wondering, see what's underneath the surface. Because you see how the moon is underneath the magician. Happiness. Getting what you wish for. Be careful what you wish for because you will get it. The moon is, you know, things being covered up, concealed, secrets, sadness, very moody as well under this one thing. And the magician represents the number one. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what that means for you, Aries. I'm sorry. This, that's all that spirit is saying. This one thing. This one thing. Okay. You could be dealing with a Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag. Could be dealing with a Leo strong, Gemini strong, Cancer strong, Pisces, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Libra, Pisces, Aries. Okay. Tell me about Aries for May 2022. Hear that song? What's that girl name? Anne Marie or something? She's saying, It's this one thing that got me tripping. It's this one thing that got me. I don't know the whole song, but yeah. It's this one thing you did. Okay. Sex is the only way I know how to show you how I feel. Okay. Sex is the only way that they know how to show you how they feel. Aries or cross watcher. All right. Taurus. Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles that came out for you, Taurus. Holy Spirit, what messages can you tell me about Taurus for May 2022? Two of Wands. Everybody got some type of decision or door to choose. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. Oh, yes. If it ain't about the money, nine of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, nine of Pentacles, ten of Pentacles. Coming to you right now. Right now, Taurus. In due time. You gave it some time. This is your wish fulfillment. Look, temperance, the star, judgment, the hermit, the world. Look at all of these majors coming out. This is a big change coming. All of this through this door that you're going to choose. Which door are you going to choose? Door number one or door number two? You see the two doors right there? Mm. Okay. Clarify the eight of pentacles. For Taurus. Five of Swords. You're going to get what you want at any means necessary. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. The Hangman. You feel like you have to because things have been stuck. Things have not been going anywhere. You haven't gotten anywhere. Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. Okay? So maybe I, I feel like you, you think that you put yourself in this limbo energy. But it's because you have to make a sacrifice. 
So are you going to sacrifice them or you? It's either going to be them or you, Taurus. And you know what I'm talking about. Clarify the two of wands. Two of pentacles. Two twos. Got to make a decision. Judgment. Here's the decision. Okay? Got to make a decision. Got to get balance. What are you going to choose? Who are you going to choose? When are you going to choose? Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. You know, no decision is a decision. That's why this hangman is here. No decision is your decision. Maybe you feel like, damn, I'm the one who got myself into this. Okay, clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Page of Swords. So I'm wondering if you're doing something or saying something. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Six of Cups. This represents the family. The Ten of Pentacles is long-term happiness, stability. I feel like the Ten of Pentacles for me represents family. Whether you are single and it's your um, relative family or family when it comes to you and your husband, you and your spouse, you and your wife, things like that. So I'm wondering if a child is involved. I feel like you could have a family. If you choose to date this person with kids, maybe you don't date people with kids, Taurus, or maybe this person is making a decision whether they want to move to the next level with you. And maybe what's stopping them is they already have kids or you already have kids. Some shit like that. Clarify the page of swords. Four of Pentacles. You've been through that already. Four of Pentacles, Five of Cups. So I'm wondering if, Taurus, some of you, if you do have kids, you wish that you wouldn't have had kids. You wish you would have waited. Okay, that's not for all of you. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, the, not, the Ten of Pentacles is family. You're wishing you had the Nine of Pentacles. Singlehood. Just you, by yourself. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Yeah, you're, you, would, you would be happy here. Nine of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. Doing what you want to do. But I'm feeling like the reason why you had kids is because you didn't want to be lonely. Or something like that. Okay. Flipping the story because I'm getting a lot of different messages. So, Taurus. I'm wondering if this Eight of Pentacles is working on something. Working on getting yourself out of something you got yourself in in the first place. You got yourself into something. You're going to have to sacrifice whatever it is you need to sacrifice to get yourself out of this. So you can finally choose a new direction. So with this new direction that you're choosing, I feel like... I feel like... The decision that you're choosing is whether to be single or in a relationship, single or with family. I'm feeling like you might want to choose to be single for some reason, but you're happy here. You like this person, but maybe you just don't like their kids or something like that. I don't know what this is saying, Taurus. I'm done. <laughs> you can be dealing with a Pisces. Um, that's the ma main one. That's the only major that really came out in the spread. So you can be dealing with the Pisces. Any Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we have Earth here. You can be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. You can be dealing with anybody. So, they should be on my bed. Can you get, can you get my air fryer? My keys should be. My keys, they're on my bed. Okay. Sorry, Taurus. I'm gonna have to do a bonus for Scorpio and Taurus. This is the 
keeps interrupting my videos. What can you tell me about Taurus for May 2022? Taurus, May 2022. Come on, y'all got to, why y'all just jumping out like that? Y'all must really want this. I'm a grower, not a shower. <laughs> That's what you were so excited about. <laughs> so Taurus, they want you to know they're a grower, not a shower. Gemini. morning okay so you're happy if you're not happy you will be yes you will be happy yes you will gemini yes you will look at all these majors coming out it won't stop look look at this emperor hereford death the fool the lovers yes you will be happy i think gemini got the best read out of all the signs safe to say Especially starting off with the morning. You woke up like this. You woke up happy. You're good. New love. Your spirit is just <laughs> overtaking your whole reading. And then we have the four of wands right here. Then we have the ten of cups right here. Gemini. It's not stopping. Then we have the sun. Gemini. Three of cups. Ge you guys must have been really like. And then we got the queen of pentacles. Six of cups. No bad cards have came out at all. Hold on one drop. You guys give me a second. I'm sorry. So, Gemini, what I can tell is, I don't know if you guys have been donating to charity, paying triple in your tithes and offerings, been holding the door open for people, been saying please and thank you. Y'all have been on y'all best behavior because spirit is definitely rewarding you. With the morning, May is going to be a wonderful month for you. If not, you will be feeling, you will be feeling the after effects. If not in May, June. But this, I'm, this is projected for May 2022. So let, we'll see. Clarify the morning for Gemini. Morning is happiness. Joy coming in the morning. Being at peace. The sun shining. Okay, this is... You've endured the night. You've endured the sadness. You've went through the dark night of the soul. Now you're coming out victorious. You're coming out happy. You're coming out renewed, refreshed, revived. Okay? Stronger, better, faster. Clarify the morning for Gemini. Queen of Pentacles. Yes, stable, money, happiness, nurturing yourself. Wheel of Fortune right here. So this is beautiful energy. I'm very proud of you. You should be proud of yourselves, Gemini. Okay. You could be dealing with an earth sign. This card I want to do right. Clarify the Ace of Cups. This is new love, self-love. This is a child. This is a gift from, from spirit that's going to make you happy. It's happiness. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Gemini. This is that relationship you've been praying for. This is whatever it is you've been praying for to make you happy. The star. I will take this. Okay? Could be an Aquarius. More majors coming out. Clarify the emperor for Gemini. If the empress come out, your reading is over. Your reading will be over if the empress comes out. <laughs> I'm for real. The sun. Even better. Shit. You can be dealing with the Leo. You, you feel, I don't even know how to explain this. You thought you knew who you were, but now you really know who you are. Like for real, the light has been shed upon your glory, your majesty, Gemini. Who are you? Who the fuck are you, Gemini? Like, damn. Yes, your highness, your majesty. Who, who are you? This is 
complete happiness shining upon you. You are the emperor. If not, there's an emperor in your life. I don't know if the head, I don't know what's going on. If Jesus is, is coming down to earth or something like that, like what is going on, Gemini? This is beautiful. This is almost unreal. Clarify the Hierophant. This is the this is divine. This is, I feel like you've been testing spirit. You've been testing God. You've been testing them. You've been testing them. That's why the morning is here. The night has to come first. The night comes first. So we may not be seeing any sadness. Here's the here's the proof though of the sadness or anything that you've been going through. The night comes first. It's not here. It might come out. So the morning has come out. You've been testing God. You've been testing spirit. God said, you know what? I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you who I am. I'm going to show you how good I am. If you ever doubted me before, you will never doubt me again after this. Ever. Clarify the Hierophant. Three of Cups. Exactly. You will never doubt me again. I hear a near-death experience. Here it is. That's crazy right here. This is what these cards mean. Near death. The fool. You're jumping off of a, a cliff and, and right next to the death card. Near death experience. Do you see that? You probably don't see it. Okay. You can see it now. This is complete happiness. This is whoever comes around you is happy too. Three of cups. Whoever is around you, whoever comes around you. Whoever, whoever is in your energy is blessed just by knowing you. Gemini, who are you? Clarify death card. Clarify the death card, please. Strength. More majors. More major. This is major. This is a big deal. Are you paying attention to what I'm saying? Are you hearing me? Okay. This is complete happiness. Yes, you will get through this. So if you are experiencing a near-death experience or someone else is, they have the strength to endure. You have the strength to endure. No, this will not be your last breath. No, this will not be this person's last breath. Whatever it is that's ending... You have the strength to overcome it. Okay. So I am hearing a near-death experience. And God is going to pull you out. And you're going to be going around telling everybody how good God is. Clarify the fool. Judgment. Exactly. It's not ending. It's not over. It's not over. More majors coming out. It's not over, Gemini. What you need to know in May, it is not over. God is not done with you. Not by a long shot. It's going to be something that makes you extremely happy. Extremely happy. You might be smiling all May. Ace of Cups and the Star, wish fulfillment. Your cup will, your cup will run it over. Over. What it is that you're asking ain't even big enough. Think bigger. You're asking about a little cup. You're, you're going to need to make your cup even bigger because it's not going to be enough. Look, I'm telling you. I'm telling you what God has given you. And words can't even fathom whatever this is. Okay. Clarify the lovers. Six of Pentacles. Clarify the lovers. For Gemini. Temperance, exactly. And we got the Hermit right here. It's not over. It's not over. It's not ending. More majors still came out. It's not over. So I don't know what it is that you've been given. Maybe you did give a super big tithe and offer. I don't know what it is. You did something out of the kindness of your heart. I don't know if you were being charitable. Because the Six of Pentacles could represent charity. Could represent a gift. Could represent you giving something. Okay. Or someone is giving you something. And it changes your whole life. I know this may be extreme. I know this is just terrible, but damn, Gemini. Look at all these majors that came out. Almost every major in the deck came out, except the Empress. But that's okay. Give me one last message for Gemini, please, to close this reading. The Seven of Cups. So many options. It's not over, Gemini. It's not over. So many options. Don't get confused, though. Do not get confused, Spirit is saying. Don't get confused. The tower. Yeah. So make sure. 
don't let this go to your head, okay? Make sure you stay grateful because I'm getting a sense of, well, I have all of this. I can get anything I want. And it changes the vibration you're on. Don't change that frequency you're on. When all these blessings come, keep that going. Don't change. So I feel like Spirit is also showing you how to keep a long um how to keep a long relationship, how to keep money for a long time and build on it, how to keep things alive. Because you get something and maybe you lose momentum. Maybe you change frequency. Okay, well, I, I got it. So I don't, you know, or anything. I don't know what it is that may alter your perception, but don't let your perception be altered. Another major still came out yet again. It's not over, Gemini. Spirit told me to tell you it's not over. You could be dealing with the Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Virgo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo. Scorpio, Sagittarius, Pisces, Aries, Aries, Sagittarius, Gemini. So that's twelve majors that came out in your spread, Gemini. All right, what messages do you have for Gemini for May 2022? For Gemini, May 2022. Okay. It showed itself, but I wanted to pick one. I will pick one. All right. mm -hmm. Bam. Okay, so it says, do a split on my dick, Gemini. You want this or they want this? It says, can I put the tip in? You want this, they want this. That's a message for somebody. Okay. but not least cancer spirit what messages do you have for cancer May 2022 Two of Wands still came out. I knew that bitch was going to come out. King of Pentacles. You're choosing to move in a new direction. That brings forth more stability and more clarity. And in turn, Spirit is blessing you. Ace of Pentacles. Clarify the Two of Wands for Cancer. Who came out? The Ten of Swords. This pain has to end. You're closing the chapter of heartache and pain and opening a new chapter for wands of happiness, celebration, a reason to love yourself, give love, receive love. Okay? Clarify the King of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. A lot to choose from. I feel like you're finally... You're finally seeing things clear. You're seeing things for what they are, for who they are. Clarify the King of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups for Cancer. Four of Pentacles. I feel like you don't mind indulging. You don't mind having multiple options. You don't mind seeing where things go, but to a certain extent, Four of Pentacles. You're not going to open up as wide as you used to. You're not going to share as much as you used to. You're not going to hold back as much as you used to. I feel like a, with this energy, I'm feeling like a um, a very balanced medium between the two. Clarify the Ace of Swords. Seven of Swords. I'm wondering if you're being a little too overly cautious. Okay, a little too um, avoidant. Clarify the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Swords because the Ace of Swords and Seven of Swords creates the Eight. 
So this, this is eight swords right here. So maybe, I don't know if you are being a little too cautious, putting yourself in a bubble, putting yourself in a box. Clarify the ace of swords and the seven of swords. The fool, okay. Taking a leap of faith, here's the devil card. Are you being foolish? So I'm wondering what this is, why it seems like the confusion starts to creep in when the two of wands showed itself. Here's the decision. Here's the new direction. And here's the stability right here. And you see clear. But I'm wondering with this two of wands, where this pain or the ten of swords ending betrayal comes from. If this is a self-sabotage or if this is an external sabotage, whether it's a person, place, relationship, job. Because do you see how the two of wands is behind the ten of swords? And I lay my cards out like this for a reason. So the two of wands behind this heartache and pain is a door, a new door to walk through. But I'm wondering if you're confused about if you're confused about it. If you don't know what to choose. Whether it be whether this King of Pentacles is a person, place, thing, job, situation. Right? I'm wondering if this person is clouding your judgment, this King of Pentacles, or if, if it's this money that's clouding your judgment. The King of Pentacles could represent a greed type energy, being greedy, wanting more and more and more, feeling like you don't have enough. The Seven of Swords, this could be being too cautious lying to yourself, deceiving yourself, being mischievous, not seeing the truth for what it is, covering up the truth. The seven of swords covering up the truth, okay? In regard to this relationship, in regard to your stability, in regard to this home or this union, and you've been covering up here covering up the facts covering up the tracks so i'm wondering if this is someone doing this trying to hide the details falsification is what i hear what the what is what is this cancer what is what, what are we doing now okay because the devil card is here with the queen of cups i'm wondering if someone is drinking and they can't remember what's going on okay this changes everything. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Cancer. Page of Pentacles. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, I got a lot going on. Six of Wands, victory and success, money, happiness. We have the Page of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles. So now we're talking about money. Now we're talking about a job. So I'm wondering if there, so you chose to do something. You chose to be with someone. You chose a certain job. There was an option. You move forward in some area of your life. And it gave you more, it gave you higher rank and status, gave you more money. It um, changed your life financially and, and it, made your life a little better. The Ace of Swords. You're clear about this. You made the decision. You had to talk about it. Maybe it didn't make you feel good. Maybe it didn't make someone else feel good because the Ten of Swords is here. And envy. Backstabbing. Betrayal. The Ten of Swords may not always have to be backstabbing, but I know somebody has heard about this and confused about it. And now this person feels like they can't show their face or they have to lie or sneak or do something like that. But it gave you more stability, four of wands. It gave, it gave you more stability, four of pentacles. So I'm wondering if there was something you had to invest in. You were taking a leap of faith on doing it. You didn't tell anybody about it. And in turn, whatever it is, you kept on the hush. It hurt you to do it. it hurt, and maybe you hurt people along the way. But it brought you money, success. So some type of fame, six of wands. 
Ace of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. It brought you some type of money, some type of stability, something that made you happy. I don't know what the hell this is trying to tell me. But I'm feeling like Spirit is asking you to do what honestly, truly makes you happy in the long run, not what's going to make you happy in an instant. Because after that moment is gone, you may be sad again. So I'm wondering if Spirit is trying to show you alternatives for your instant gratification. So Spirit is saying, okay, Cancer, I know this makes you happy for two seconds, but Try thinking about what makes you happy in the long run. Lifelong happiness. Okay. I don't know. But I'm not getting anything super bad off of this. You could be dealing with the Pisces, Aries, Capricorn, Taurus. Any fire sign, earth sign, air sign. The only water that came out was the Queen of Cups. So it could be you. My mouth waters when I think about you and when I think about us. So somebody's still thinking about y'all. You may want to have phone sex or FaceTime. Virgo got this card. Okay. That is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. You can like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, leave me a love donation, book a personal reading with me, donate to the channel. Let me know how these messages resonate. If it didn't resonate, I'll catch you next time in another video. Check out all your other placements. Check the description box. I love you all. Y'all be safe. Bye-bye.